Guys, I effed up. What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video today ladies and gentlemen you know I really wasn't even going to upload today but something came to my 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 brain right here and I realized something last night and I figured I'd post about it today because I didn't have anything slated for today I think we have surgery going up tomorrow but for today I just wanted to get on here and explain a little bit of a story time a little bit of a moment because I want you guys to get in on this with me because I messed up man I messed up big time and I'm pretty upset about it but it's it's kind of a funny thing, an ironic thing, but it's also kind of heartbreaking to a sense, and I'll explain everything. So if you guys remember about a week ago, what was it? Uh, I don't remember what day it was. Maybe it was last week sometime, maybe Thursday. Maybe it was last Saturday. Actually, I think it was a week ago today, and I just really realized it yesterday, which explains a lot, which we'll get into as well. And if I'm talking a little weird, it's because I have like I have like a couple ulcers, and it's making my mouth move all weird, and I don't like it, and it hurts like hell sometimes. So about a week ago, I think it was last weekend, last Saturday, we posted an action figure setup. If you guys remember that it was the horror setup we had the jason Voorhees. we had all of them set up in the kitchen we did a really fun kitchen setup it was super fun super awesome if you guys stayed all the way through that video not only would have you have seen the action figure sequences where we dived off the you know the ladders and went through the tables we had all these things set up but at the very end of the video what did i do you guys remember do you guys remember what happened if you guys don't remember what happened it was a special surprise at the end of the video i'll roll the clip right now oh and then the last part before we get into the spots guys we got to show off the best part of the setup and that would be if we come down here to the trash can, what do you guys see? What do you see? None other than Trash King Corbin hanging on, going down into the trash can. You hate to see it for Trash Corbin here on Halloween, but it had to be done, Brad. See you later, Trash. Honestly, it probably should have put him in the garbage disposal, but I wanted Slapjack to get his comeuppance, and I figured the trash was, good, was the best place for Trash Corbin. So if you guys did see in the end of the setup video, what did I do? I proceeded to knock off Trash Corbin, right? I knocked him off into the trash. Well, Brad... I just realized that I never retrieved him from the trash. Do you realize what this means, Brad? This means that the Trash Corbin figure, the custom Trash Corbin figure, is gone-o. He's long gone, Brad. I didn't even want to throw him as, I didn't want to, I didn't want to throw him away. And it's like, well, it's Trash Corbin, but at the same time, it's like, well, damn, man, that thing I held near and dear to my heart, you know? It's like, I don't like trash, but why am I upset about him actually going to the trash? Which is another thing on top of itself. How funny is it that his, his, his demise actually came in the trash? I I didn't just lose him like moving houses or I didn't drop him off or him fall out of a box somewhere or sell him or anything like that. The man literally went in the trash. I forgot to get him out and he's long gone, Brad. He's getting incinerated by the damn trash burner now. That was last weekend. Our trash runs on Monday. We took out the trash. We always take out the trash on Sunday night because it's part of the routine, you know. You take out your trash, you get it out to the side of the road. So at Monday morning, early on, they come out, they take that hoe and I did not retrieve him, man. He got buried underneath some garbage, and there he went. Now he's off. He's he's probably he's either sitting in a pile right now, or he's gone. He's burned alive. He's gone as hell. And I don't know, man. I'm really upset about it. And my boy Fig Skip Customs, the guy that made the Trash Corbin figure, I hit him up immediately because I was like, dude, I I have some heartbreaking news for you because it it freaking messed me up, man. And I, I want to show you guys how I even found out about it. So after I do setup videos, I put all the figures in a box and I carry it from wherever it was. So if it's in the if it's in the room, obviously. Obviously, I can just take them and put them up on their shelves. But if I'm going to another part of the house, to the arena, to the kitchen, or whatever we do, I always put them in a box, and I carry the box back to the room. Well, after emptying, I, I, I literally fixed up the room and cleaned up the kitchen after the setup. Maybe, I think it was either Sunday morning or like late Saturday night. So I carried the box back to the room, and I cleaned up the area, and I got everything good to go. And then, so like three or four days later, this is like Friday night, I think. It was last night I noticed it. I went around the room. I'll show you guys, because I was setting up 
new stuff. So over here, I was getting ready for some surgery. We got some figures we're going to do some surgery on. I got my rocks over here. So if we go across over here, you guys will notice I added a new shelf because we got a new Mark Henry. And since we have since we have three Mark Henrys now, I wanted to make a Mark Henry shelf. And then I added to the Drew McIntyre shelf. And over here, I had to move all these figures down to make room for the new Triple H down there because I'm going to have to do that. And then I'm also got to add my Randy Orton. So I was in the process of that. I didn't get to finish that because I noticed this. If you notice right here, guys, this right here is the Trash Corbin shelf. Right here is where my Trash Corbin figure sits, okay? So I'm cleaning up. I get all this stuff down. I look down and I see this and I go, oh my God. I said, I, for a second, I thought, oh, was I doing a setup for a pay-per-view? And I was like, what, what the hell? And then I remember, Brad, I put him in the damn trash. I threw the man in the trash, bro. I threw the man in the trash. I cannot believe it. Again, it's funny and it's ironic. How ironic is that? Who is messaging me? So yeah, man, so what disappoints me the most? You're like, well, you don't even like Trash Corbin. No, I don't like Trash Corbin, but that figure held dear to my heart because back in the day, like a long time ago, I'll plug in the first time I ever opened the damn Trash Corbin figure. My Lord Jesus, what do we have? Oh, no, he didn't. Oh my god, look what he did, guys. He made an official Trash Corbin. Oh my god, look at that. That's the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at that. He actually cut his body, or he detached the torso and super glued it to a trash can. And he has no... He is officially Trash Corbin. Look at... This is freaking amazing. Oh my god. Thank you. So, this, is, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I am going to definitely be putting this so I like oh my that is the best thing I've ever seen oh my god I am so sorry for the freak out guys but this is like the greatest thing I've ever freaking seen in my entire life are you guys looking at this look at this oh look at that look at that look at that oh look at that it is an actual trash Corbin it's a legit just sitting there trash Corbin this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That was on an episode of My Damn Halls way back when, bro, like way back on the channel. So I probably had that figure in my collection probably three and a half or at least three years or so. And the guy that made it, Fig Skip, he was a fan of the channel, so he just wanted to send that to me because he knew that I was, uh, you know, I didn't like Trash Corbin, so he made a half trash, half Corbin figure. And God, man, that's so awesome. And then to lose that figure, it's like, God dang, man. It hurts me a little bit because it's sentimental. However, I do have some brilliant news. Fig Skip, the guy that made it, I actually hit him up. Up and he's already made a new one. I don't have the, you know, the TGIF Friday's head sculpt to put on it just yet. I'm going to have to track down one of those basics and get a crown to make him King Trash Corbin again, which we'll probably do in a later video, but I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. Trash Corbin met his demise. Even though we're getting a new one, ha, huh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So we had like a story time slash update slash I don't know, but I figured you guys would like to hear, hear that story and understand where I'm coming from. I might have been able to get away with it, just create a new one, but I figured get on here and tell you guys about it. I can't believe I did that, man. It just shows that you got to pay attention to your setups. When you do setups, be sure to get your figures out of the trash if you're going to do something like that. But damn, man, so ironic, so funny, so heartbreaking all in once. So many things we can talk about. So many things we can't talk about. But yeah, bro, I think that's going to do it for this video. I apologize for the weird lighting and the ish, but I wanted to get on here and tell you guys about that story and I guess a surgery or something's coming tomorrow. We'll see about that. But dang, man, it low-key upset me. Am I secretly deep down a Trash Corbin fan? Hell no. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Ah, before I get out of here, let's go ahead and give a shout-out from our last video. So a huge shout-out to Rebel Heart Wrestling for this comment on our last video. He says, I'm kind of surprised we didn't get any new images of Ultimate Edition Edge since we got all the ones after him. And I agree with that a lot because it was weird. I expected to see nice new images of it since we got nice new images of Hulk Hogan and The Fiend and everything like that. We didn't even see Macho Man, so I guess, I don't know, I guess we'll see about that. But we did get images of Elite 83 Edge, which would be nice even though the torso is not accurate even though the ultimate edition has a better looking torso i don't know but anyways guys thank you for watching let me know what you think of the story down in below and what do you guys think about that how ironic and crazy is that but thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video